guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, where you belong. Alright, so today, I get pretty bored, and it's like, I don't know, like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Not, not, not in the morning, but in the afternoon, at night time, and I'm really hungry, and I haven't done a YouTube video in a very long time, so I want to show you how to make a good sandwich. So ever since the coronavirus has been coming out, so my mom got me got some of this, some quick bread. So which one do you draw the little bitch up? Mm, there we go. We got that out. You take it out. Now we're not gonna use this entire thing because Oh that's a good bread. So what you wanna do is you wanna place your thing right here. Place it on a flat surface like this. You wanna get a knife? And shoot like now I'm gonna go for maybe maybe around like right here. Now I don't want that much. So I'm gonna do about that much. So you wanna cut that in half. So look at that. Now you got a lot of bread. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to shape it to perfect perfection or actually not. I'm gonna keep it as that. So this might be a part two video. I don't know about it right now, but so the more bread that we have, we have it in here. So we're gonna put that back in the bag. Put it back. All that, get all the air out. It's not good for you. And then you want to twist it up. That's what I usually do. All right. Twist it up. It's not like that, huh? Okay. All right. That's part one. So let's go ahead and get. So let's go ahead and get our plate out. Beautiful bread. Look at that. So we're gonna move you guys over here. And guys put you on the oven on top of it. So you guys are on my oven now. So we are gonna go ahead and get all So my mom is asleep right now. I'm gonna try to wake her up. And I don't want to get the big pan out, but I would use it. So what you want to do is you guys want to turn. You guys want to turn your thing around to boil. Or whatever you want to say. Yeah, boil. I'm gonna turn it all the way over there. I'll cut light on make you guys see it. So you guys wanna let it heat up inside. And we just ain't gonna put a plain bread in there and toast it. No no no. No. I don't know if I wanna do this or not, but I'm not gonna I should put butter on it, but I'm not because I don't wanna get fat. And it's too disgusting. That's only if you want toast. I wanna toast it. So what I'm gonna sit in here, if what I should have done is I should have put it on the um, right before I started the video, I should put it on boil, cut it in half, boom, slide it in there. So it'll be nice and toast. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna bring you guys over to my refrigerator. So you're right beside my refrigerator now. So we want something for our sandwich or whatever you want for what make. So my mom got, got some ham, so we're gonna get some ham out. And I might use some of that cheese. A bit of the cheese. And you can add another meat as well, like chicken, and a little bit of steak, who knows, anything else. Alright, so, or any vegetables, like, 
I don't got any pickles. So I don't think my mom has pickles. But I, I like to get into pickles. So I'm actually going to put you guys back over to the other one. And I gotta check on the bread. Gotta make sure the bread's alright. So I'm gonna come over here. You guys cannot see me, but I'm over here there on my thing with you. And I am going to show you if I have any pickles. If I don't, that's fine. I think we do. Uh, the sweet pickles. Alright, I didn't find anything, guys. So, I'm going to use what I use. Now, let me make sure. Alright, alright. So I'm gonna zippity zoom to my room and grab my cup. It smells really good in here. So I'm going to empty up our cup and our beverage is going to be our last thing that we do because we got to make sure the bread's all right. So I'm going to get the oven mitts. There we go. Get the oven mitt out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Put this on. And up. I'm gonna pull that out. Now we are going to turn it off. Now I wish I have good editing skills, but I don't have that right now. So this is gonna take very long to download. I don't know where to put it. I'm gonna put it on the table. So if this ain't too hot, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like in the inside. It's not born, it's not, you know. So here's our flat piece. So we're gonna bring it over to my plate. Flat piece, and then that's going to go over here. I'm gonna go out and wash this. Actually, I'm not gonna wash it right now. That's hot, so that's why we go back into the right below where it belongs. I'm gonna jump in that in again. Alright, so we put that in. I didn't pin the oven, but almost did. Alright, so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our shredded cheese. Now it's not probably pretty much too hot to have the melted cheese, I don't think. So what we're going to do is put it in the microwave and then let it dissolve. Or whatever you want to call it. Like this. So to make this legitimate, I have my um, cheese grater and I have my other plate. I'm gonna take our cheese and one cheese grater. Now I don't know how much I want on this because it's really big. Huh, that's what she said. So I don't think that's gonna cover it, so. A little bit more in there. Here, that should be. I'll show you. I'm gonna put this back in the bag and I'll show you.
don't know if I fooled you guys yet, but I actually had a cold one in the refrigerator, so I'm going to pour this into our beverage cup. We get cherry wine, so I'm going to use that. Oh, that's good. So, I'm going to make sure everything's toasty and warm. I think poison meat, so we're good. Alright. Let's take this off. Look at that. That's a big piece of ham. So, we'll, so since it's a big piece, I'm going to lay it down like that. Stay like that. I'll lay it out like that. And I'm not, I don't want to eat all of it. So I'm going to put one more on there. So actually what we're actually going to do is we actually are going to put the cheese on there and put in the microwave for a little bit. So maybe like just a little bit. I'll save for now. Oh, you hear that? That sounds so good. Now the bread is still warm, unfortunately. So... I don't know what what's it gonna do in the microwave, so I'm gonna guys go and pitch you on top of the microwave. There we go. Put the microwave in. Look how beautiful that looks. Pretty good. Now if I actually had more meat, I would actually have it on there. So let's get our beverage ready. No, no plate, no cheese. Get a beverage ready. Now, I would like to put ice, but I don't feel like it. So, it looks like our cheese is ready, is already melted. There. Looks like the bread smells hot and steamy. So, let me go and turn on the light. So, I don't know how to go about this. Bring my drink, so I'm gonna carry it like a taco with my plate. It's very hot. It smells like a Subway sandwich. Mm. Alright, let's go and cut out the light. Sorry, you all guys can't see anything. I'm gonna shut off the door. Let's put it on my bed. Alrighty. It smells like a subway sandwich. Alright, so I'm gonna lay down, guys. If you guys hear anything in the background, that's uh, my friend Carlson and some of, and my other friends. So, I do play on the Xbox. My name is Easy Taps, known as my profile on um, YouTube. So, I'm going to show you. So, it's a little pretty big. It smells like a Subway sandwich. Let's go and open, let's open the top up. So, it looks like the cheese is melted. It's really hot. Like, it's really hot. So, I'm going to try and go into a bite, but it's really hot. Yeah. Maybe I should have cut off a little bit of that top off. 
Because so all I'm getting is bread. I'm getting some at home. I'm getting a little bit of cheese. I should get a little bit more cheese. And just like it inside of a subway sandwich. Now, I think if I put a little bit of seasoning on there, I think I would have got everything done. But anyway, so I'm pepper, my ham. You know what? I will eat this again. Homemade snap. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Please like it and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good night. Have a good day, and I hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day. Later.